you know, the valuation of my my coins is going to be one one point five billion. You know. Wow. And then it's going to be bigger fish that come looking. Hi, thank you for having me. You're very welcome. This is a mind blowing story. Um, how, how did how did it happen that you you chucked away a hard drive with Bitcoin worth around 150 million? I mean, I know this was ten years ago, but why did you do it? Um, obviously, it wasn't done intentionally. Um, <laughs> of course. Um, I was doing a clear out in one of my drawers at home. Um, there were multiple hard drives in the same drawer that looked near enough identical. Oh. And it's a simple case of mistaken identity. The wrong hard drive was thrown into the bin, unfortunately. When and, did you realize that? Uh, a few weeks after it had happened, um, the penny sort of dropped. And then over the next few weeks, that's when I sort of dealt with it internally. Um, and at that same time, Bitcoin was going through one of its bull, bull periods. So the price was skyrocketing from the hundreds up to, you know, eleven hundred and fifty a top date at the, at the time, mm. um, which made my coins worth around nine point nine million dollars back then. Oh. Obviously, since then, Bitcoin has taken off massively around the world. Um, adoption has grown humongously, and obviously the price has reflected that. So the valuation of the coins on my drive has also increased as well. So presumably, pretty much as soon as you realise what happened, you wanted to uh, get into the place, the landfill site that you had thrown it away, uh, uh, where it ended up by mistake. Um, what, what what kind of obstacles did you face straight away? Because obviously they were pretty hefty because you still haven't got in. Well, the first thing I did is went down to the actual landfill site and spoke to the direc director of operations there. Yeah. Um, obviously, he's in charge of how that landfill operates. So I asked as many questions as I could about, you know, exactly what happens to a bag of waste when it's put into a certain bin and basically you know he was very helpful um, at the landfill but he also did state to me that he had no power to give me permission to search for my drive and, and all sort of authority for, for that purpose would come from Newport City Council mm. um, and the local councillors so I immediately tried to get in touch with them make them aware about this situation that I was trying to find this very valuable hard drive um, and if we were able to search at that time, obviously it wouldn't be buried under, you know, yeah. so many tons of waste. It would have been a lot easier to to accomplish back then. What are you going to do now? Because presumably they haven't shifted then in all these years. They, have they changed? No, they them? haven't. No. Um, obviously, I've been back to Newport City Council numerous times over the last few years, asking to, you know, meet with them and engage with them about this problem. I believe they've always seen me as an Oliver Twist type guy who, you know, coming along begging to dig their landfill up and, you know, dig a hole here, there and everywhere and leave a mess. Mm. Um, and that's kind of not the situation we're in at all. Um, we would like to actually complete this task professionally to commercial standards um, whilst meeting all of the environmental regulations involved with a task such as this. It seems crazy that um, that kind of locally they don't that, that that they don't just want to kind of you can't leave it buried. I mean, because people could benefit from it, including the the, yeah, the th local. There's a, there's a there's a huge amount of money on there today. I mean, today is currently valued in the region of two hundred million. Um, six months ago, it was in the region of five hundred and fifty million. Oh. Oh, in good. a few years' time, we're not going to be talking about hundreds of millions. We're going to be talking about billions. Um, I've seen these price rises and dips in Bitcoin at least five times over the years and what we're going through now is no different to what we've been through in the past. Um, when Bitcoin recovers and it hits 150 to 200,000 per coin, you know, the valuation of my, my coins is going to be 1.5 billion, you know, wow. and then it's going to be bigger fish that come looking. Well, exactly. This is a fascinating story. We're going to keep in touch with you, James, um, to find out what happens. Surely something is going to happen. It's